Hi guys, today let's talk about BMW 5 Series and which one of them will be the new classic F10 or E60. Let's go! So the thing is, and I think you will agree with me, that uh, 5 Series is one of the most recognizable models of BMW and as for E34 and E39 it's already is young timers that are really valued if it is in a good condition on the used car market so let's check and let's have a look on the next models E60 and E39 and decide which one are more interesting for investment right now. Of course, the first thing we should talk about is design. And as for me personally, I believe that E60 looks not so good as F10, because F10 is a really classic looking BMW. I will show you mine that I'm sitting in right now. So here is what I recognize as a classic design. Just look at it. Do you really think that there were something better than that produced starting from E39 generation? And to be honest, what I like most about this car is that it doesn't have M kit because I really don't understand why you should put M kit and M sign on something that is not M series. Also, I would say that I have a nice interior, nice color, and nice condition of the core. Here you can see the mileage on it is about 110 kilometers, and it has a very good complexation with digital displays, heads-up display, all cameras, and all that stuff. And as for E60 generation, I think you can remember that uh, when it was firstly presented, a lot of core journalists uh, told that uh, this is not a BMW design, it looks awful and all that stuff. But nowadays I believe that, uh, well, this car is in usage a lot, we see it every day on the roads. Uh, so I think we're okay with this design right now. And to be honest, we should mention that this is a unique BMW design that was uh, just in this generation. So as for design, I would conclude that uh, F10 is not so riskier than E60. Because uh, I would say that all uh, car enthusiasts would agree with me that F10 is really a good looking BMW 5 Series. So let's move on to the technical issues. And of course, now we should talk about engines, transmissions and all that stuff. And of course, if you are looking for BMW to invest in, especially 5 Series, uh, you should prefer straight 6-cylinder engine. And uh, it's, of course, easier to find that in uh, E60, because in uh, the F10 generation, especially after the restyling, a lot of cars were with uh, four-cylinder turbocharged engines. Also, it's much easier to find E60 with manual transmission, especially with three liters engine. So, as for the classic receipt of BMW and to find it uh, on the market, maybe it would be easier to check for E60 car. And if we go especially for M5, then I would highly recommend you E60 because of uh, the unique engine B10 that was only on that generation. It's really amazing and uh, after that, you know, that uh, M5 starting from um, F10 generation uh, was uh, produced with um, V8 engine. So I would say that for collectors and all car enthusiasts, this V10 engine is really a piece of art. Of course, it is uh, very expensive to maintain, and you should know about that and uh, make the right decision. Uh, you should know what to expect from it. Uh, so, it's not so easy to find 
ports and all that. However, if you find M5 E60 in uh, good condition, then it is a gr it should be a great deal. And uh, of course, you know that it would be very hard and very challenging thing to find that car in good shape and good condition because everyone knows why you buy M5 and what for. And that brings us back to the fact that as for F10, it's much easier to find a car in a good condition because it's just younger. And I would personally go for investment opportunities for um, first generation before restyling of F10 with a straight six and would try to find it with a manual gearbox. Of course, it's quite tricky and challenging, but I guess it could be possible right now. The first point to conclude like that is, of course, the design of F10, its classical look, but also it's about condition of the car. But as for E60, I really believe it's an interesting option. And of course, now these cars are at the bottom of the market. And uh, that's a time when you can have a great deal. This deal, of course, would be more risky than buying F10 generation. But of course, it also will give you more opportunities and uh, more expected profit. So please comment below what do you think is the best investment opportunity right now from BMW 5 Series, F10 or E60 and of course please explain why. And we are moving to look at my own car that is F10 BMW 528 with a sad to say 4 cylinder engine. It is after restyling, but this car is mainly bought not for investment but for everyday usage. And maybe in some cases it's more interesting for everyday usage to have four cylinder just because of fuel consumption and all this practical stuff.